You guys here, AOC out fundraised Pelosi this quarter by $200,000 without picking up a phone to beg for bankers cash a single time. Pelosi, 100% defunct. Oh, Harry, this is good news. And I think this is the trend we're starting to see. This is why I, I, I am cautiously optimistic. There's a lot of bad stuff. There's a lot of, but it feels like, and I say it's all tied in. So the AOC out fundraising Pelosi just because AOC is being authentic. Yeah. What do you have to say to that capitalist? Yes. What are you going to do now? Yeah. What are you going to do now? Because AOC is so skilled on Twitter. She built up a grassroots following. And what we're seeing, the Kamala dropping out, the uh, Hillary getting taken out by Tulsi, the the AOC and everybody backing Bernie, and I and I, more people are paying attention, and I believe this is tied to the twelve or so countries that are having protests now. There's oh, absolutely yeah, it's a it's a global rejection of neoliberal corporate capitalist nonsense. Everyone's done with it. The arguments in these countries, there's specifics that are different or unique, but the overall theme is the same. Yeah, a group of elites control all the money and power they're corrupt they're absolutely corrupt and they're held they're not held accountable at all yeah and the have-nots are sick of it and we have a freaking planet to save yes like in chile the public transportation rates just went up that was the spark mm -hmm. a bunch of people poured in the street and said we're done with this you raised our public transport and it wasn't even it was like 50 20 cent 50 cents or something like that and then that everyone else said yeah and this and this that's what happened in france a year ago yeah right that's what is happening in Lebanon, in Iraq. You know, like people are like done. They're done with it. Even in the countries where it's like, you know, the CIA is toppling people or whatever. There's still some of the protest is like, yeah, we're done with this corrupt uh, oligarchy. We're tired of this crap. Oh, totally. Yeah. And, I, and I think AOC out funding Pelosi is showing you. The power of this, it's why, you know, Kamala dropping out, I'm not a billionaire. Well, neither is Bernie, and he doesn't need billionaires. He doesn't take any super PAC money. He doesn't take any corporate money. Liz Warren, well, I'm not going to, but then I will a little bit. But look, then I, I will, because it's all hands on deck. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, look, I'm not for unilateral disarmament. What does that mean, Looney Tune? Just say you're going, yes, you're going to take corporate money because you're a sellout, or no, you actually have integrity. Just pick one of those. Can you please, if you are supporting Elizabeth Warren, watch the video of her where she gets heckled and just stands there like a deer in headlights yes. and can't do anything until ariana presley comes and rescues her i, I mean i'm sorry I, yeah. I know that's one for instance but I, you expect her to beat trump like i mean that you, you're living in a fantasy i know if you a if you think she's sincere and b even if she was if you think she has any chance in hell to beat trump there's no way Especially if you take that and stack it up against saying, I'm not going to take corporate money in the primary, but I will in the general. Just shows you that she's wishy-washy. I've signed on to give Trump an extra $80 billion for the war machine in October 2017. <laughs> I stood when Trump said this will never be a socialist country. It'll always be capitalist. I what's my I can't tell you specifically what my Medicare for all plan is. When you stack all those things up with the fact that she just went, oh, a heckler. She's not she's not who you want. She's not a leader. She's not going to lead. She's not. I'm not going to go on Fox News. You can't be president of half of the country. People, especially general voters. They really like strength and conviction. Yes. They really like it. So, you know, why was John Kerry unable to beat George W. Bush, who was grossly unpopular and deserved listen? I mean, George W. Bush was, was a disaster beyond comprehension. And even in 2004, people knew what he was. They knew Iraq was a lie. They were starting to see through him. Not as much as in the end, but it was right. there was enough that a strong opposition could have beaten him. Even Why didn't John Kerry Ellen wasn't him? hanging out with him. Huh? Even Ellen wasn't hanging out with him yet. Yeah. Ellen wasn't buddies with she him She wasn't yet. really, like, up to speed on her CIA asset. They weren't, yeah, they weren't buddies yet. But John Kerry, what was the big thing? Uh, Flip-flop guy. Right. That was the big thing on him. Warren, they would be able to do the same thing. And, and voters just don't like that. 
That, that's why that's why people are connecting with Bernie. He's he's strong in what he says. He's been saying the same thing for 40 years. And, and he, you know, you try to scare people away with the big socialism buzzword, but when you cut through that nonsense, that BS, you know, like, like scapegoating devil term that makes, you know, it's just ridiculous, people just see it as a good policy that would make their lives better. Look what happened when he did the Fox Town Hall. Yeah. And the Fox News people were coming at him hard. He didn't go, ooh, and then have Nina Turner come up and speak for him. He, he can, he'll be able to go into the reddest of red states, Texas, as we've talked about. And when people go, you're a socialist, he'll go, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. No, I'm not. Here's why. You think I'm going to be like the Soviet Union? No, that's not what I'm talking about. Do you have a fire department? Do you have a police department? Yeah. Do you have parks? He'll explain it because Bernie has been saying the same thing for three decades, if not yeah. longer. Yeah. And he's not going to back down. And technically, he is a social democrat anyway, so he's not, you know. Yes, He's a centrist in, in Western Europe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's going to sit there and go, look, I'm just going to give you more things that you are already getting. Like, what do you want? Do you want the fire department to be run like the healthcare industry? I'm sorry, Ron, your insurance doesn't cover seven floor, a second story fire protection. So we're going to put out the fire on the first floor of your two story home. But the second floor, your insurance doesn't cover it. So if you have any family up there, I hope they can jump. Mm -hmm. That's you start talking in those terms, you know, the, yeah. the fire department's only going to come to the rich neighborhoods. They're only going to come to Donnie Deutsch's house or, or Ron Johnson, that Republican from Milwaukee who said that um, health care and food is a privilege. If you have a fire for five grand, they'll take the truck. But otherwise, they're on foot, you know, because your insurance just doesn't, doesn't cover right. the, the truck. Or we'll put out your fire at your house no matter what, but you're going to get a bill. Oh, yeah, you're getting a bill. Do you want a $10,000 bill to put out the We saved your family. A dude running with a bucket of water is covered. Anything else that's coming out of your deductible? Well, the first thing is, so so you 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 have a fire, but it might be a hazmat fire. So first I need you to get your primary firefighter to sign off that you're going to need a specialist firefighter to come with the hazmat gear. Does that make sense to you? Well, because so, then the insurance industry decides whether that hazmat thing is necessary. Right, because you might not... Be, the, the, so the hazmat crew might... So they'll, they'll send the hazmat crew, but if they discerned it wasn't necessary, like maybe it was just a pa can of paint and it wasn't serious chemicals, so then you're responsible for the hazmat crew coming to your house, even though it wasn't really needed, but the primary care firefighter that you went to first. Now, meanwhile, your house is burning when this yeah, is all your happening. your house is burned down by now, and your premium's going up next year. Okay. Okay, good. And but you're not qualified for firefighter insurance. This is the best firefighting in the world, though. We really. have the best firefighters this in the world. This is called freedom is what this is. Do you want to have firefighters like Denmark? Yeah. They're just, they're happy firefighters. <laughs> you want that? Use that analogy the next time somebody says we don't need Medicare for all. Use the analogy we just did about firefighting. The whole thing. For All of it. All of it. And say I look pretty. Um, not me, just you. I want you to have better self-confidence as everyone watching. I just want you to look in the mirror and say I feel pretty. And then say hashtag jet lag Joe. <laughs> I want you to wake up every morning, look in the mirror and say hashtag jet lag Joe. And then say, but Greta... You should be shaving your face with oil, Creta. Use a razor made from coal, Creta. Um.